What is the tacked time bar chart? In the previous video, I explained how to calculate the tacked time. Now, let's see a first use to identify what the bottleneck of a production line could be. Let's imagine we have a production line with four operations. Welding. Benching. Painting. Assembly. For each of these operations, there are the following cycle times for each piece. 50 seconds. 120 seconds. 180 seconds. 100 seconds. I remind you that the definition of cycle time that I use is. The cycle time is the time between two process starts. This definition of cycle time can be confusing when observing batch processes such as painting or heat treatments. In this case, I suggest you go to the shop floor, observe and decide with the team how to manage the definition according to your needs. Returning to the example of the line through the tact time and the tact time bar chart tool, you can easily identify if there are bottlenecks and what is the process that regulates the speed of the line. Let's see how it is done in this image. Step 1. Draw a pair of Cartesian axes. Step 2. Draw a red line at the tacked time. Step 3. For each process of the production line, trace a column as high as the cycle time. Step 4. See which column exceeds the tacked time. Step 5. All the columns that exceed the tacked time are the bottlenecks of the production line. All bottlenecks are immediately subjected to Kaizen events to bring them back below the tacked time. If there are bottlenecks, the customer's request cannot be satisfied. Conclusions In this video, I have explained to you how to use tacked time to create a tacked time bar chart. Using the tacked time bar chart, you will be able to visualize which are the bottleneck processes and start with Kaizen events to bring them under the tacked time. Thanks for watching this video, remember to subscribe to the channel. In the description, you will find other useful resources on the subject.